We're going home today! What up? So we're in the airport, we're playing the game that we always play, which is how much overweight is everyone's suitcase? Because half of these people started the tour with their suitcase overweight and then went shopping every single day. So we just stand here, my, mine are the heaviest. It's okay. Um, I haven't been checked yet, but I'm pretty good. He's pretty good, but everyone's always mad overweight. I'm allowed to be overweight because like, I'm special. But it's still really bad on my part and I need to go home and like, I'm so excited to repack smartly for the next part of this tour because I've packed so dumb for this part um, and everyone's going through the same thing Jess <laughs> literally I looked at her she was holding a pile of clothes and she's like <laughs> she was gonna throw away a brand new sweater because she thought that would make a difference was the seven pounds that are by Mark worth enough? a seven pound sweater weighs two pounds that's costing me 65 pounds for about I think an hour maybe half hour I had toothpaste on my face Dried. I told her. No one told me. She just licked it off for me. It's like that. That's the current situation. So did we all learn our lesson with packing and shopping? I did. Well, I learned it a while ago. She did, so. I did. No, you didn't. I'm, I was telling them that I'm most excited to be packed. Can she show you how many layers she's wearing right now? Oh, she's oh, she's show, show, her show her the layers. Oh, one, two, three. Oh, Another sweater. sweater. <laughs> it really hot. How about Mickey right but now? Johnny showed up at the airport no, in Toronto no, when we yeah. left with their bags the 20 pounds okay. over. Yo, Mickey's so, about to drop so, the hottest thing right now. Look at this. Two. Three. A conductor's jacket. Four. <laughs> Why did you buy a conductor's jacket? Because that's a very distinct London piece. I'll walk around, people be like, he's from London. And then they'll hear my accent. With that and be like, awful he's accent. No, he's <laughs> and you're going to be living on the street with all the baggage fees you're going to pay. <laughs> We's on our way to Dublin. We're really upset that it's just not a direct flight because it's a one hour to Dublin and we have five hours stopover when it could just be an eight hour flight in total. Listen. I mean, it's life, but. Bam! Winning in Ireland! Ah! We's in Dublin. The sleep is so. Real, the need for sleep is so real. We're gonna get food first, then we're gonna knock out on the floor somewhere. <laughs> Everyone's mad sleep deprived. Humble and I just had like a very long conversation trying to figure out how we became friends. It's through me. I, whoa, she had a moment. This means, mm, I just about to say that. I was just gonna say that. We're in Ireland, so we decided to eat an authentic Irish breakfast. It's Burger King. We've had so much Burger King on the store so far. Yeah, we have. Mad actually. Burger King has gone down. Especially in UK. Mm -hmm. Look at these hash browns. They're like little Mario coins. Do do. Mmm. Here we have a wild little poet. Who gave this shirt? Eric Couture. I've been wearing this for three days. He's been wearing this shirt for three days. So everything is such a mission. I'm shivering. I'm wearing a sweater on top of a sweater right now. Fell asleep on these uncomfortable chairs with the armrest up my booty. <laughs> and everything's such a process. Waiting by this gate over here. The gate only opens like a few minutes before your flight. It's like a game or something. So you can't fully like get comfortable anywhere in this airport because they keep making you move closer to your gate slowly and slowly, but they won't actually let you get to your gate. It's like Central Square. We're trying to get to the train. Oh my God, yeah. I just want to go home and hug my mommy. <laughs> and now our flight's delayed. That's how I feel. So I feel. Oh wait, then I got a matcha. <laughs> coming home, I'm coming home. Tell the world that I'm coming home. Yeah, sitting next to each other. I love how Nanum's just fabulous in her hat all the time. She's always in this hat. But it's like, I'm not fabulous. <laughs> That's the best part. And then behind us, we got Peace Teasy. We got Humble the Poet. We got Sincerely Jazz. You guys excited to go home? Yeah. Kind of. Kind of weird, weird, right? It's just hitting me that we're really not weird at all. Totally good. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. It's weird. I don't know it's how I weird. feel. It's weird. 
it's weird. I don't know how I feel either. I'm kind of anxious. It's like the fact that we're gonna go home, and I personally feel like I'm gonna feel like I'm doing nothing for four days, not having to go to a venue, not having to catch a flight, not having to do that. It's weird. It's weird. Like you mean I'm not gonna go take a nap and go to the venue? Yeah, it's weird. That's, I don't know. It's weird. I but I did tell my mom to make me vegetarian chicken curry. I know that sounds weird, but it's vegetarian chicken wings, chicken curry, my favorite thing with rice, and that's waiting for me at home. I'm so excited. Yeah. I'm so excited Mama's for home cooked food. food. I'm excited food. for the following things: home cooked food and opening a fridge and seeing food. Yeah. Like just the, the feeling of like things are there at my disposal. I don't, have to, I don't have to order. Yeah, laundry. Like just Not the ability to do things. Yeah, the ability to oh do things. Oh my god. But I'm most excited about packing ten times smarter than I did. I'm literally gonna plan out each and every outfit before I pack it. Each and every meet yeah. and greet outfit. Same. Same. All your meet and greet outfits. Yeah. You guys want a meet and greet, Nanu? Hi! There's not a single piece of vegetarian food on this plane. All of their options are meat, more meat, and then a different kind of meat. I just want to take a two second rant here. <laughs> a two second rant. If you have multiple options for food, wouldn't it make sense as an airline to have one that's vegetarian? Why would you have chicken, beef? as options. Like, it's just, it's just meat. Because even a lot of meat eaters sometimes don't like to eat meat. Is that just me? Either way, we usually request vegetarian meals, but we don't book our own tickets, so sometimes it gets effed up and we just starve, aka right now. We're starving. They don't have anything. It's vegetarian. Everything has chicken. Go Aer Lingus! Woo! Not to mention the air hostess is super unhelpful and like doesn't care at all. I feel like all airlines are horrible. She's not nice at all. She's not nice. She doesn't care that we're starving at all. No, no, she's like, sorry, there's a list. You're not on the list. I know. I know. When we didn't get food right now, she's like, it's easier for them because it's all chicken, so they don't have to sort through it. I'm like, I'm glad my starvation is easy for you. I know. That's why Unicorn Airlines needs to be a real thing right now. It will be. Mm -hmm. Wait for it. Thank you. We're home. If you have a connecting flight to another city in Canada and your baggage is tied to its final destination, you are required the to code care for Canadian customs. It is very important no. to remember that you must... We're so sad. We're all going to say bye to each other soon. Bye. I have my own luggage in my own car. What's going on, Dad? Oh, yeah. 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 Hi car, how are you my baby, my car? I forgot how to drive you, I'm sorry. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I instructed my mom to make me the vegetarian chicken curry and I'm gonna eat it. I've been thinking about it for the past. I d asked, requested. My, my bad, my bad, she's already whooping me. I'm high! I honestly think I might cry right now. I'm not gonna vlog me taking a bite. I'm gonna just savor it and enjoy it. But just know this is the moment for me. I love you, mommy. You know, this is, this is me lying in my bed with my unicorn. Mm. My first load of laundry is already in the washer. I've already gone through my suitcase. I'm gonna unpack them shortly. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit sleepy, but I'm so impressed that one load of laundry is in. Um, I'm feeling real nice in this bed right now. I got mad emails to do. Mad emails. But like, yo, I don't know. This bed is pretty comfortable. Uh -huh. Who? Meow. Where in the world is Superwoman today? A London. Bruv. Bloke. Fish and chips. And by chips, I mean fries, not crisps. How come every time you come around my London, London Bridge, wanna come down my London, London Bridge when you can get high? What up, everyone? It's your girl, Superwoman, and there has been something on my mind recently, so I've decided to make a video about it. Actually, I spoke about it in depth in my 